Next, let's queer up politics. Kamala Harris is to announce running mate tomorrow. Could voters be ready for a gay VP? U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg is reportedly under consideration as a potential running mate for presumptive Democrat presidential nominee Kamala Harris. If selected, they would form a historic ticket, marking the first time an openly gay candidate could be vice president. Buttigieg has expressed confidence in the electorate's openness to a gay VP. Buttigieg told TMZ.com, I'm not saying homophobia is a thing, but I'm saying it's been extraordinary how people look past that. He cited his re-election in Mike Pence's Indiana as evidence, noting he received a higher vote proportion even after coming out because voters appreciated his work as mayor. Polls indicate Buttigieg as a favored choice alongside Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, who has declined interest in the role. Other potential candidates for vice presidency include Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, and North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, among others. The campaign will officially announce the choice via online message to supporters tomorrow. The announcement will be made before a rally in Philadelphia tomorrow, where Harris is expected to make her first appearance with her selected running mate. And wow, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Mm. I mean, I, I think to back, you know, to the 2016 election, you know, when Hillary first ran and we had our first woman running. Mm -hmm. And I remember that excitement. And I think, wow, you know, if there's a chance that there's an LGBTQ plus person running for one of the highest offices in, in the country, that's fantastic. We're all, we're, our community is already breaking ceilings. But, you know, there's so many people that are so deserving and so well qualified for this role. You know, th we didn't even mention like Tim, Governor Tim Waltz from uh, Minnesota, mm. Governor Andy Beshear from Kentucky, some of these battleground states, this is exact. They're very strategic about who they're picking, you know, and, and, and really focusing on the strengths that will, you know, really emulate Kamala Harris and, and really push it into the next, uh, hopefully the next presidency, you know. Yeah. So um, I, I think it's wonderful, you know, that uh, great to showing, you know, the LGBTQ on that high level. So, Well, Kamala and her crew have accomplished in such a short time, aside from it being historical and exciting, is freaking incredible, right? And everything that they're doing is done very meticulously if you're watching what Kamala's doing, right? We're the last to know when it comes to stuff. They had already had her coming out and her stepping up and all that probably planned for a week or so beforehand, right? So shes they're going to announce the VP when it's time. Everybody has been going down <laughs> their throats like, we need to know, we need to know, we need to know. You know, I want to... I want to celebrate our victories because we're so targeted at all, all the, at all corners, right? Mm -hmm. The fact that that Buttigieg was even an option, I think, is 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 a fight, is a victory for us, right? Um, is the world ready for Buttigieg to be VP? I'm not so sure, right? I, um, I, I wish we were further ahead. You know, I think Trump has really like made the freaking planet go backwards, <laughs> in, in essence, in a lot of spaces. You know, um, what do you think, Mark? Are we ready for uh, for a, a gay VP? Uh, I'm just going to say I trust Kamala. I trust mm -hmm. her to make the, the best decision. I think that she knows these people. She knows the numbers. She knows the polls. So whatever she goes with, that is going to be my ticket. I do think that Pete is a phenomenal choice. Um, and I think sometimes the worry about, well, you know, because he's he's gay, is that going to bring out more kind of anti-gay voters? All the anti-gay voters are already coming out. <laughs> like they come out 100 percent of the like if you're MAGA, you're you're definitely yeah. voting. I think he is only going to energize mm -hmm. a lot of those younger voters. Did you all see him? take Fox News to freaking school uh, mm -hmm. with that interview with, yes. with Shannon Beam. He is so smart, does not let a point go. I just, I love seeing both Kamala and Pete when they are in these really kind of stressful situations where you would see a lot of other politicians crumble. He doesn't flinch. Does not flinch, does not let them get away with anything, doesn't let them steal the point or the thunder. I think they would be a phenomenal pair. And this, that, is, this, is the, this is the point I've been making on this show for a very long <laughs> time. I've been waiting for Democrats to step up and use the playbook of their um, nemesis. Mm. Don't back down. Yeah. Every detail. I'm not giving you an inch. 
and I'm, I have a backbone. And Kamala is, ugh, ugh. It just gives me such, to sit here to be black and gay mm. <laughs> at the same which time. Which you are all day. Uh, which I am all day. <laughs> to sit here and talk about a black woman um, running for president and to sit here to even talk about a gay man mm -hmm. being possibly um, on the ticket. And can I say how beautiful that ticket looks? Mm -hmm. Mm. Rever like, can I say the optics of how yes. beautiful? Com mm -hmm. I'm sorry, compared to the other um, candidates. Turd? No, not turds, <laughs> oh, because the, uh, I'm I'm talking about their other options. Oh. Compared oh, to the oh, other sorry, options, it's just the the <laughs> optics. The yes. op but because optics do matter. Yes, like, of if they it, Kamala has a great campaign um, team, and I'm, I'm sure they're looking at the optics of what this looks like. But also to be smart and intelligent, to be black, gay administration mm -hmm. are you serious wow like <laughs> that's a wow and yeah. i'm i'm here for it i'm here for us being out loud i'm here for us you know having that in the office um without without shame with yeah. unapologetically just really just like yes the president is a black woman yes the vice president is a gay man and yes deal with it yes i'm here for it you know and kamala is is exquisite. I, I think she's beautiful. That's just my own personal opinion, right? And, you know, I love how, like we were saying, that she doesn't flinch about certain things, you know? The right is pulling out all this crap now, talking about her husband and that he had an affair in his past law, you know, in his past, uh, this past marriage. It's his past marriage, right? And everything that they come out with, Kamala and her husband are like, yeah, what? Okay. Or this is the explanation. Goodbye. Like there's not a, uh, you know, freak out or anything, or let's go find out another, let's go find another porn star to, you know, like they're not going low, you know, they're doing, they're doing strategic planning and they're making it happen. And we're all along for the ride. Mm -hmm. Right? Hell right. I'm here for it. I didn't, I didn't hear about that affair thing. And I mean, given the country's history of leaderships with womanizing and affairs, I don't even know how that can even be. Wow. I t sorry. I, I well, how many no. has Trump had? I, I, mean, I know. I, mean, I, I, mean, I, I, I mean, Honestly, it's one of the most unified elements. I have to, I hate to say it. it, it, it <laughs> both sides have, uh, have definitely been right? a part of that. So calling, calling any side out on it is just, it's, it's just grasping right. straws in my opinion. But they're good, but they're yeah. going to be grasping at straws. I mean, just yeah. like, you know, Trump doesn't want to debate with Kamala because he knows Kamala is going to wipe the floor with him. Oh yes. Oh yes. I'm salivating at that debate. Yeah. I hope that happens. Yeah. You know, again, again. <laughs> Do you want a president who back who backs on their word? Right. He agreed to this debate. It was already signed, sealed and delivered with Biden. OK, so Biden stepped down. We have now Kamala. It is you're supposed to go and do this debate. You just want to look like the turd that you are. You know, um, I think it was like for I think it was a black women or something event that he was at. Black yeah. Oh, yeah. Where, where Trump says something along the lines of, oh, now she wants to be black. I, I was no, like, oh my God. And she like, turned black. How can you change? <laughs> this doesn't wipe off. It does not wipe off. <laughs> Every day you wake up, it, it is still there. Brown as it is, and people treat you the way that you look. <laughs> right. well, is, there, is there potential? That, I mean, this is obviously already historic in so many levels. Is there potential that there might not be any debates this year? Is that is that where we're going? Because I, I don't I think mean, so. That'd be I mean, historic, and that would that'd be, be kind of historic itself. too. Yeah, that would be historic in itself. And, we're living you know, in, but if I mean we're living in backwards world, so anything is possible, yeah. Harrison. Anything goes. Anything is possible.